Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a homily on the Gospels by St. Gregory the Great, Bishop of Rome. She longed for Christ, though she thought he had been taken away. When Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and did not find the Lord's body, she thought it had been taken away, and so informed the disciples. After they came and saw the tomb, they too believed what Mary had told them. The text then says, The disciples went back home, and it adds, But Mary wept and remained standing outside the tomb. We should reflect on Mary's attitude and the great love she felt for Christ. For though the disciples had left the tomb, she remained. She was still seeking the one she had not found. And while she sought, she wept. Burning with the fire of love, she longed for him who she thought had been taken away. And so it happened that the woman who stayed behind to seek Christ was the only one to see him. For perseverance is essential to any good deed. As the voice of truth tells us, whoever perseveres to the end will be saved. At first she sought but did not find. But when she persevered, it happened that she found what she was looking for. When our desires are not satisfied, they grow stronger, and become stronger, they take hold of their object. Holy desires likewise grow with anticipation, and if they do not grow, they are not really desires. Anyone who succeeds in attaining the truth has burned with such a great love. As David says, My soul has thirsted for the living God. When shall I come and appear before the face of God? And so, also, in the Song of Songs, the Church says, I was wounded by love, and again, my soul is melted with love. Jesus says to her, Mary. Jesus is not recognized when he calls her woman, so he calls her by her name as though he were saying, Recognize me 
as I recognize you. For I do not know you as I know others. I know you as yourself. And so, Mary, once addressed by name, recognizes who is speaking. She immediately calls him Rabboni. That is to say, teacher. Because the one whom she sought outwardly was the one who inwardly taught her to keep on searching. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.